and welcome to a new vlog. I arrived just now from Mumbai with the night train to Goa and Panjim. It's sort of in the middle of Goa. There is North Goa and South Goa. I'm thinking of going to South tomorrow because the most beautiful beaches are supposed to be there and I would really like to have some beach day. This area where I'm staying at Old Quarter Hostel, it's located in the Portuguese area and these houses are from uh, the colonial Portuguese uh, yeah, era and most of them are over a hundred years old. So nice houses, I really like this. <laughs> I'm on my way to the market now, but everyone's just like wiggling their heads whenever I ask in this point in different directions. So I'm not really sure if this is right. Excuse me, the market is over there? Panjim market? Straight? Okay, thank you. Just bought some uh, pickled mango for my mom as a gift. It's so hot, I think I need to go to the beach. But this street seems to have a lot of uh, small shops. And it's like a little market, but the thing is, it's Sunday, so everything's closed. Damn, it's hot. It's 20 rupees for um, one papaya. Do you know the bus to the Miramar beach? Is here? Uh, same road, but the uh, next building. Ah, okay, thank you. I saw Indira at the beach and I'm like, oh, she's as tall as me. So I had to go talk to her and ask why they wanted to take photos. And you said, because you're tall, you're white, and people here are not used to seeing tall white women. That's yeah. why. To me, they said, oh, it's because you are a guest in my country. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> we were also talking about um, the clothing Yeah. at the beach. You have to cover yourself as a girl. Yeah. It's not appropriate wearing like revealing clothes. Yeah. yeah, it's not, it's not like we are not used to doing that here. Can you swim at the lake? I think. Can we? Can we it's, swim at the lake? It's a bit dirty. No? It's a bit dirty. No, I'm not gonna swim you can at the fish lake. Fish at the lake, not. Fish. No, okay, fish, but not fish swim. Can. We made it to the lake, right? Yep. What is this lake called? I think it's the Mandovi Lake. You made it. Yes. I am feeling so dead and just sat down at Sapari, it's a restaurant, very close to the hostel. It seems to be good, it's a family owned restaurant and I ordered tikka masala, no, paneer tikka masala and basmati rice for 240 rupiah. I just had a shower and instead of body lotion, I have some midget, midget, mosquito repellent <laughs> on my body because I already get bitten on my feet. I actually have a single room because I did not feel like sharing a dorm but if you share a dorm here it's gonna be so much less expensive. I have some allergic reaction since I came to India and it's not going away I don't know what it is. It might be the temperature switch from Sweden to here but it's really annoying. Okay good night. Oh my god it's so itchy. Ciao! Buenos dias! A new day. I'm still in Panjim here in Goa and traveling south today. Eggs, porridge and coffee! So good with porridge. That was such a long time ago. I'm so happy. As you can see on the map here, there's so much more of Panjim and this place to discover. But as my new Danish friend said at the breakfast, she said it's not really worth it and I should be heading down south instead because it's gonna take me a long time. It's already 10.30 and it will take me at least two hours to get down south. Bus station! Bus station! Yay! Emma is from Denmark. She's my soul sister from another Nordic country. <laughs> One person. I now arrived to Madwa bus station, as you can see here behind me. 
I now have to take a local bus down south to the beach where I'm staying for two nights. I made it to the right bus and now it will take me about 45-50 minutes. Yeah. Oh, we are right, 40 to 1. Okay. So yeah, about 45 minutes. Thank you. happy and it's so quiet nothing is going on the beach is 10 minutes that way and that's what I'm gonna do right now because it's already oh my god it's already two from the busyness of Mumbai the train ride one night in Panjim to this guys total quietness and rice fields in Goa <laughs> the beach I went home and I actually did some workouts on uh, the floor and now it's uh, 9 20 and I'm about to have dinner this is paneer masala thank you for watching this and see you tomorrow hey guys what do you think about my helmet it's pink I love pink and uh, today I will rent a scooter obviously because I'm already on one on the wrong side of the road I'm used to drive on the right side but here everyone is driving on the left side so Wish me luck. Luckily in Goa, compared to Mumbai, there is no traffic or hardly no traffic. Welcome to St. Anthony Church and the Cabo de Rama Fort. And my new friend Andrew is holding the camera. He was also looking for the fort. You're Hungarian? Yes. But you've been living here for four years? Yes. In India? <laughs> yes. So it's uh, 5.20, sunset is in about an hour and just now as I left was because a lot of local men came to the beach and I didn't feel comfortable so I left and I'm on my way home and hopefully we'll have time to see the sunset where I live so let's drive the fast we can that way! Welcome back to where I stay here in South Goa and uh, I went to the supermarket after sunset to buy some gifts and some snacks for my long journey back home to Sweden tomorrow or actually I have to leave from here at 4 a.m. but then when I went to the supermarket my camera died it went out of battery so I just wanted to show you what I bought and all this cost me 900 rupee and I think food is a very nice gift when you've been to a country with amazing food like India. Ta-da! It's 4 a.m. and I need to go to the airport now. I so badly want to sleep. Here I am in Delhi at the airport. My next flight, I need to board that like now. Uh, it will take me straight to Stockholm, seven hours. Today it's Wednesday. I will land on Wednesday evening, Stockholm time, local time. And on Friday, I am moving from Stockholm. So I only have, yeah, this night and Thursday to pack and prepare because I'll be moving somewhere south. And I will tell you more about this. I thought I will do a Stockholm vlog too, what I do in 24 hours. It seems to be sort of a... Uh, 
thing that I do just to land 24 hours in Stockholm and then move further. Thank you so much for watching all my India vlogs. I hope you enjoyed it. India has been a great experience and I'm so happy to have uh, met Ellie and see how she's living in Mumbai and it's been so great to have uh, getting to know so many people even the train ride from Mumbai to Goa was an experience itself and I will forever remember this don't be scared to travel local go by bus I mean seriously the bus from uh, Panjim in Goa to South Goa is about 40 rupiah and if you take a taxi that's like 2000 or something seriously just go local, it's more fun, you get to talk to local people, it's the way to travel. Mm -hmm. Ciao guys! Ciao!